Hey guys, this is Goldie again, and in this video, I will help you set up catch-all account in your Google Workspace. Now, there might be a couple of scenarios which uh, will let you consider creating a catch-all account. First one would be that if someone sends you an email uh, for one of the users in your Workspace domain that does not exist, that email will bounce because you do not have the mailbox for that specific user. So in case if someone maybe does a typo and types wrong email address for one of your users, then the email will not be delivered and it will rather be bounced. Now the second uh, thing is sometimes, you know, spammers or bad guys might try to do some sort of brute force uh, attack to test whether that specific email address exists in your domain or not. So they will keep sending at your different email addresses if it bounces and they get the rejection notice, that means that email address does not exist. And if it goes through, that means it does, so that they can use that email address later for spamming purposes. And for that, you might want to consider creating a catch-all account, which essentially means that if someone sends an email to a user in your workspace domain that does not exist, instead of sending the bounce message, you will get that email in one of the dedicated mailboxes. So let me show you now how you can create one. So I have my mailbox here, so I'll go to my admin console. You can log into admin.google.com by putting your uh, admin credentials, and then you will go to apps, Google Workspace apps, and then you will go to Gmail. Under Gmail, once it loads up, you will go to default routing uh, because this routing will be the default for everybody in your organization. That does not exist. Okay, so we'll go to default routing. Now, under default routing, we will have a few options. First, let me create a new rule. And in that rule, we can say that this will match all recipients because we want to set it up for the whole Google Workspace tenant. So now, if an email comes to a user that does not exist in your Google Workspace tenant, we want that email to be received, but that should have a prefix. Maybe we can say catch all email or something like that, so that this email can be differentiated from the regular emails that you might get. Okay, now we will say change the envelope recipient. So you can send all of such emails to either a dedicated mailbox. In my case, I will put my admin email address. Okay, and if I scroll down a bit, I will say that perform this address only on non-recognized addresses, which means if an email comes for a user, that exists in your Google Workspace domain or account, then let it be delivered to the regular mailbox of your user. But if it comes for non-recognized addresses, which means they don't exist in your Google Workspace domain, then do two things. One, send it to this email address. And second, in the subject, append this catch-all uh, you know, prefix so that you can differentiate those with the regular emails. But before I save it, let me go to my another mailbox, which is contractor at my and send an email to, let's say, you know, blah, blah, something, uh, this email address that does not exist in my domain, and say test email, send, and idly I'm expecting a bounce because we did not set up catch all account yet. So I will do a couple of refreshes to receive that bounce email. Okay, so we got the bounce and it says that the account that you tried to reach does not exist. Okay, now let's go back to our admin console where we were creating this rule and click on save. Okay, now our rule is saved. We will do a couple of things here. Number one, if you look at the rule priority, it's at five. So you can either make that priority, you know, by reordering, let's say if I wanna make it one, I can make it the highest priority, which means this rule will be checked first before the rest of the rules. And second, make sure that the status of this rule is enabled, okay? Now, once that's done, I will, this is my admin mailbox, I don't have any email yet, here, I will compose an, another email, and this time, 
uh, let's say something random at my domain.com and say second test email and then send it this time ideally I should not receive the bounce but rather this email should be delivered to our mailbox that we defined in our default routing okay come on may take some time okay so we have got this email though it was sent to this email address but we received in uh, our id.golira.com uh, email address and as expected it has also prefixed actual email that we defined before the subject okay we can do one more thing here because in case if you're getting a lot of catch-all uh, emails this mailbox might be messy so we'll go ahead and create a filter we will say if the subject contains this line go ahead and search for these uh, create a filter and let's uh, skip the inbox and apply the label and we can create a new label and let's call this uh, catch-all email so that downwards these such emails will come to your catch-all email uh, mailbox let's try with that one this time let's say another random email at my domain.com and say third test send it and now we're expecting not to get the bounce because of cattle in place and ideally that should skip the inbox and come to our catch-all uh, label come on okay so now as you see it skipped the inbox and it straight away went to our uh, catch-all label now if we go to default routing uh, not the default routing if we go to our reporting and then email log search you want to see how this rule is working so I will say since today and check for all the emails and uh, if you see the third test that we just sent and if you look at it, it you will see that it was sent to this email address and then envelope uh, was changed to this and and we see that it matched at uh, this default routing rule that we set up okay now in case if you need to apply that rule not to everyone like all the, the whole tenant that which includes all the domains including the secondary ones what if you want to apply that only to one specific domain or maybe a couple of your uh, domains then for that you can go to your default routing rule uh, click on edit and in this catch-all account instead of applying it to all recipients you can go with the pattern match and here you can define a regex which will only detect uh, the domains that you want uh, it to be applied to so you can create a regex which will only trigger if it applies to one or multiple of your secondary domains and then only if the email is sent to any non-existing users on those domains then you will get the catch-all email otherwise the sender will get a bounce so hope this was helpful if you have any questions comments feedback as usual do not hesitate to uh, put that under this video and i will be happy to collaborate with that thank you so much